Race 10 is the time dancer, Illinois bred three-year-old pacing fillies for a $35,000 purse. No changes. Number one, am I special or what? Owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms, trained by Irv Miller, the driver Brent Holland. 1A, Foxy Graham, owned by Tanamira, trained by Irv Miller, the driver Andy Miller. Number two, Lucy Desiree, owned by John Nessa and Forrest Shoemaker of Altamont, trained by John Nessa, Mike Lachance, will drive. 2A, McReba, owned by John Nessa and Forrest Shoemaker, trained by John Nessa, Eric Ledford, the driver. Number three, Sporty Cam, is owned by Bill White of Flora, trained by Dwight Banks, the driver, John Campbell. Number four is One in a Million Girl, owned by Paula Smith, Horseman's Financial Agency Incorporated, and Premier Racing Stable, trained by Amanda Smith, the driver, Dave McGee. Number five, DLJ Direct, owned by Herbert Anderson of Mount Dora, Florida, and Brent Johnson of Big Rock, Illinois, trained by Herbert Anderson, Luke Willette will drive. Number six is Lou Annie. Number six, Lou Annie, is owned and trained by James Rowney of Marseilles. The driver is Ken Holliday. Seven, Park Lane Powerful, owned by the Fighting Major Stable of Hoffman Estates, trained by Homer Hochstetler, the driver, Michael Osting. Number eight, Torpedo Express, owned by Jim and Donna Krebs of Cantrell, trained by Jim Krebs, Tony Morgan is up. Win, play, show, exact a wagering, host time in three minutes. Again, DLJ Direct is very erratic behind the gate and now breaks stride. She's been fractious. It's been a handful for driver Luke Willette. Here they come. This time they're off and pacing. Lou Annie fires out along with Mick Reba to go toward the front of the field. And one in a million girl is there down toward the rail. One in a million girl moves up for a short lead. Mick Reba goes second. Lou Annie is parked three wide and third around the first turn. Sporty Cam is racing fourth. Am I special or what is fifth? Lucy Desiree is sixth. Park Lane Powerful is seventh. She's nine lengths off the early lead. Foxy Graham is eighth. Torpedo Express is ninth. DLJ Direct is 10th and last after a break. 27 and 1, the time for the opening quarter, and Lou Annie has made the top by one length. One in a million girl goes second. McReba is racing third. Two more lengths to Sporty Cam in fourth. Lucy Desiree moves up fifth on the outside of Am I Special or What? Park Lane Powerful is off the rail, moving into sixth position with cover. And now here comes Sporty Cam to the outside. That will provide cover for Lucy Desiree, who continues to move up as well, off the half in 56 and two-fifth seconds. Lou Annie leads at three parts of a length. Sporty Cam is lingering second on the outside. One in a million girl, locked in toward the rail in third. Lucy Desiree on the outside is fourth. The stablemate McReba moves up the rail into fifth. Park Lane Powerful sixth, coming three wide, four lengths off the lead at the three quarters. Park Lane Powerful uncorks a rally, but she's going to have to go wider still because there's a lot of traffic in front of her. Three quarters and 124. Lou Annie leads it now. One in a million girl gets off the rail. And Park Lane Powerful third. Foxy Graham from way back is fourth. Still five lengths off the lead. One in a million girl challenging Lou Annie. Park Lane Powerful needs to find more. She's finding it now. Foxy Graham is fourth. One in a million girl has a short lead, Park Lane Powerful coming on, Foxy Graham, then Lou Annie toward the rail, Park Lane Powerful, Foxy Graham, photo finish for the win, either Foxy Graham or Park Lane Powerful is also close for show, 152 and 1. Irvin and Andy to lead all trainers and drivers respectively, eight winners on the week for Fox Valley Standard Breads as breeder, eight wins on the week for Sportsmaster as sire, three wins on the week for Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms, this time the 1A, Foxy Graham. From the governor's office, Len Padovan making the trophy presentation of the Time Dancer Stakes. The result is now official, 1-7-1. Going to give driver Andy Miller a break and talk this time to his brother Irvin Miller. Irv Foxy Graham is a filly that, if I remember correctly, that you and uh, Dick and Barbara Cooley picked up sometime last year during her two year old season. This almost is kind of the forgotten filly of the Miller stable in a way. I was just noticing she only lost the state fair by a half length. How about future plans for this filly? We've got to be headed to Super Night? Yeah, she'll be headed to Super Night. She had a little incident 
a um, couple of weeks for the state fair where she was off for a while. So, but she's come back good. The last two winners of the Time Dancer have gone on to be named three-year-old pacing filly of the year. We know that Dick and Barbara Cooley would enjoy that. This filly certainly one of the leading candidates for that award. Tell Dick and Barbara congratulations. Good luck this fall. Thank you very much. That's Irv Miller, our winning trainer. By the way, don't forget, folks, Super Night, which will feature the Grandma Ann for these three-year-old pacing fillies. 